G'day, you rotten Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. Today, we have an absolute funk machine. I'd like to thank Way Huge very much for sending us. Uh, Way Huge are part of the Jim Dunlop family of companies, and Jim Dunlop have been a very big supporter of this channel for a number of years now. They send us heaps of cool stuff like this to play around with. Now, I use Phaser a lot uh, at my gigs for all the funky stuff. Um, I also love wire pedals. And now this, Attack Vector, is a combination of both. So it's like an auto wire and a phaser. You can run them separately or you can run them together for the ultimate funky sound. Right, today I'm just going into my uh, Boss Katana. All right, this switch in the middle here, let's, up the top is just the phaser, down the bottom is just the envelope. In the middle is both. So I'm going to start with just the phaser. It goes from very, very fast. Oh, I should say the, these two controls are for the phaser. These two control the envelope, the switch just mixes between them. That's all there is to it. It's very simple, and I can't believe how many different sounds you can get out of this thing for, you know, four knobs and a switch. The feedback is uh, how intense the phaser sound is. It goes extremely slow. With the feedback all the way down, it's just like a pretty standard, uh, you just get some pretty standard phaser, phaser, uh, phaser sounds out of it. But adding in heaps of feedback really does add to the intensity of it and really give it that nice funky sort of, you know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's enough of that. Right, over to the envelope side. The sensitivity denotes how hard you need to hit the note to trigger the envelope to go up and back. With the sensitivity all the way down, you've got to hit it really hard to make it go wah. With the sensitivity all the way up, you only just have to touch it a little bit to make it go wah. And this is a good time to show you the range knob. The range knob denotes how far up the wah it actually goes. So you can hear right up, it's got all the really high frequencies in it. Mm -hmm. 
all the way down. It sort of doesn't have all those really high notes in the really high frequencies in it, I should say. It's a lovely, lovely filter they're using in here. I reckon I'd have it about in there. I'd have my sensitivity about. Mm, oh, maybe have it a little more sensitive than that. Maybe a little bit more. That's pretty cool. It's just funk in a box. It is just amazing. Right, now, in the middle, and this is where the pedal gets super cool, is you can have both. You can have the phaser and you can have the envelope. It's just an incredible, incredible sounding pedal. This is the Attack Vector from Waihu. This is one of their smalls. It's very small compared to even a boss pedal. It's smaller than a boss pedal. This thing is awesome. It's a phaser and an envelope filter, which you can use separately or combine together. Again, I'd like to thank Waihu very much for sending us this. Jim Dunlop, family of companies, thank you very much. Big supporter of the channel for a long time. So if you've got this far, thank you very much for hanging in there and listening to this extraordinary panel. I, I, I really, really like it. I think it's a really interesting combination of effects, you know, in an era where you can get a, any combination of drive pedals you want together in a pedal. I think this is a really cool concept to put a phaser and an envelope filter or an auto bar in the one enclosure. I think it's very, very cool. Um, anyway, well done. That's cool. If you got here, thank you very much. Uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment. Anything like that really, really helps. Um, really helps in the uh, YouTube algorithm. We're getting close to 20,000 subscribers now. So thank you for those of you that are already subscribed. We really appreciate it. And it lets us bring you lots more cool videos like this. So uh, thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.